In Cape has strongly denied that thousands of pupils have been left out of its school's transport program. Transport authorities say the Democratic Alliance's claims that around 35,000 children in the province are not being taken to classes are unfounded. A spokesperson says the transport department is committed to providing transport for 103,000 children. Ronald Misunder has more. The parents of children from Silver Town in Tanzania say some of the children's lives are put in danger when scholar transport is not available. Some parents say most of the children's schools are not at a walking distance. Abanya Babi Fike 2021. The transport is a big So, Klonyaka, most of us are here. Tumelaban to the Funulas. Funulas now, equal distance. Banana Betu Bangi, Abakwazu, we are panging now. Saf Kwako e pass, a Tutabana Bapa, Basse Chicken Farm. The Eastern Cape Department of Transport has refuted claims that it has drastically reduced the amount of children from its scholar transport program. The department is also hoping to engage with taxi operators to ensure that children are safe on the roads. This comes after concerns have been raised about escalating taxi violence in the province. So we haven't seen a lot of the violence that is happening in the province within the taxi industry affecting scholar transport that much. However, it is worth noting that we have encountered some problems, maybe taxis, taxi drive, taxis rather breaking down, and that has affected learners. I mean, MEC Kolile Ngata will also be meeting with taxi bosses on Tuesday. Ronald Masinda, East London.